Today, the internet browser we all knew is officially dead. A new desktop GPU competitor, AMD's RX 7000 GPUs release win, and Intel has officially announced their first desktop art GPU. We get pricing, performance, and more. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, what was once the most popular browser of all time, Internet Explorer, is officially dead. That's right, after 26 years, Microsoft's Internet Explorer is no more, and over the coming months, users who are still using the browser will be prompted to download Microsoft Edge. Sometime later, Microsoft will apparently release a Windows update that will permanently disable Internet Explorer entirely, so this is truly the end. Of course, if you're a PC enthusiast, you likely haven't used Internet Internet Explorer in years. In fact, pretty much no one's using it. According to StatCounter, Internet Explorer is down to 0.64% market share, so this obviously won't affect too many people. Still, while it hasn't been all that great for many, many years, if you grew up on computers, you likely started your internet journey by clicking on that iconic E. In the end, this was inevitable from the moment Microsoft announced Edge. Next, you can actually try out the one place I recommend to get into computer science for free today. And they've sponsored this video so I can tell you all about it. I'm talking about the ultimate tool that was built to teach the STEM field. Brilliant. Whether you just want to upgrade your knowledge or pursue a career in STEM, Brilliant is the place to go. For one, they teach you the best way, which is by showing you and having you do it yourself with fun, interactive puzzles. So you're not just memorizing stuff you're told. Instead, you get to do the things you learn. Second, Brilliant courses are made by some of the brightest minds from Microsoft, Google, MIT, and more. So you know you're getting the right information. Whether you want to learn math, science, or of course, computer science, Brilliant is the place place to go, and you can try it for free today when you visit brilliant.org slash gamermelt, and the first 200 of you who visit the link will get 20% off the annual premium. Once again, that's brilliant.org slash gamermelt. Next up for today, a new desktop GPU competitor is here, and it's not Intel, though I'll get to them in a second. That's right, a new graphics card was shared on Billy Billy, and it's called the Glenfly Arise GT10C0. As you can see here, the card is a low-profile model that's completely powered by the PCI Express slot, so it doesn't have any kind of 6 or 8-pin connector. This card comes with 2 gigabytes of an unknown memory type across a 64-bit bus. Believe it or not, the card actually comes with HDMI and VGA support. When it comes to performance, unfortunately, this card doesn't currently have a drive driver, so they weren't able to test it just yet. Obviously, given the power requirements though, I wouldn't expect much. A similar card was recently tested that had some pretty terrible performance. Ultimately, it's too early to tell for this GPU, and only time will tell if the Chinese company can eventually compete with Nvidia or AMD. Next up, we finally have the release timing for AMD's next-gen RX 7000 GPUs. For those who saw my recent video on AMD's Financial Analyst Day, you know that the company officially confirmed that their next-gen GPUs will be based on an MCM design, and that they would in fact be released later this year. Well, according to a new post from leaker Graymon55, the company is set to release their groundbreaking GPUs between late October and no later than mid-November. The launch should start with their Navi 31 GPU first, with Navi 32 and Navi 33 releasing later. That's of course right around the time Nvidia is rumored to release their next-gen GPUs, so we should be able to compare both companies' products pretty fast. And of course, while AMD's cards are set to revolutionize the way GPUs are made, Nvidia looks set to release something extremely powerful, so I think it'll be really exciting to see how these cards stack up. And lastly for today, Intel has finally done it. They've officially launched their first desktop Arc GPU. That's right, we have performance, pricing, design, and more. Starting things off, the official name of Intel's first Arc GPU is their A380. That's obviously not a surprise given the leak I went over in my last video. As for specs, it's what we've seen so far. The GPU is one of Intel's lower-end models, which comes with 8 XE cores or 1024 FP32 cores, a base clock of 2 GHz, 6 GB of GDDR6 across a 96-bit bus, and a TBP of 
5 watts. When it comes to performance, according to Intel, the GPU is up to 25% faster per yuan than AMD's RX 6400, so it's definitely not a higher-end GPU. You can see that we do have some benchmarks from Intel, but as always, I'd suggest waiting for third-party reviews. When it comes to the design, you can see that Intel has a pretty simple reference design with a single fan, and it does look like they plan to release this reference design. Regardless, third-party GPU makers are already beginning to announce their own designs. As you can see here, Gunner announced their A380 Photon, which is a factory overclocked dual-fan GPU with a single 8-pin connector. One interesting fact is that the GDDR6 modules in this model are clocked at 15.5 gigabits per second, which is actually slower than the reference design. With that said, the maximum clock for this GPU is a fairly impressive 2450 MHz, along with a TBP of 92 watts. As for pricing of Intel's new GPU, the official MSRP in China starts at 1,030 yuan with VAT, which converts to around 153 US dollars, though closer to 134 without VAT. Of course, as always, doing a conversion like this isn't always accurate given there's a lot more that goes into pricing, but it gives us an idea of what Intel's thinking. Either way, that puts it below the RX 6400. So this at least shows us that Intel is ready to play ball. Now, speaking of China, as Intel originally said, the A380 is releasing in China first, and the cards should go on sale this month. According to the press release, the GPU will be available globally during the summer. Finally, we got a tease of Intel's upcoming high-end desktop Arc GPU. Specifically, Gunner showed off a triple fan Arc GPU with the caption Future Flagship. So clearly Intel's highest end card isn't too far off. So while that does it for today, what do you think about Intel's first desktop Arc GPU? Or are you more pumped for AMD's next-gen RX 7000? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out brilliant.org slash gamermelt. And as always, have a great day!